are you tired of waiting hours upon hours days upon days for your millet to ferment so that you can cook your favorite Ghanaian awuzakoko also known as spiced millet porridge wait no more the wait is over your girl is here to show you a secret hack to cook your awuza koko instantly yes so before this video starts make sure you like subscribe and share to all so here are my ingredients i have ginger powder i have chili powder i have black pepper powder and that bottle i used to put cloves in it and that even give me an idea of making my own spice container and then i have cloves powder in the plastic bag i have grease or cylon, also known as wintia and then salt to taste you know i got this some of the spices from ghana right so let's set it aside and let the fun begin so in the bowl i'm going to measure one cup of millet powder and i have this video on this channel i'll leave it at the end screen okay check it out and i'm going to add half teaspoon of ginger powder and all this you can customize it to your taste half teaspoon of chili powder and all these spices are the main ingredients you find in abuza coco or spice millet in porridge in ghana and i'll add half teaspoon of black pepper and then cloves cloves is very strong and powerful so i'm just going to add just a lady use your judgment if you want it hot you could have it hot if you want it mild you could have it mild you could customize it to your taste okay and i need you to pay attention i need your undivided attention okay and this hack always work for me when i'm making awuza kuku i don't have to wait hours upon hours days upon days so you can also apply this rule okay i'll give it a mix next i have soaked two winter in the warm water and guys this is the secret of making awuza koko the instant awuza koko you need fermented corn dough yeah this is going to help your millet to ferment instantly okay so i'm going to pour the water to mix with the millet and keep watching i'm going to use the grace of slim later on so i've just added a tablespoon of fermented corn dough and mix it very well and once i'm mixing it let me take this opportunity to thank all my regular viewers and my ogs thank you for your love and support and this is the thickness i'm going for i'll transfer it to my measuring cup and bear it in mind don't add too much water because you want to blend it so that you can retain all the protein, the mineral, and the vitamin in this process, okay? So, in my stove, I have my yellow beautiful pots. You know when I bring this pot out? Hey, <laughs> So, I added some salt. We see, and then I do a kosu and kasa cocoa way. So, we are going to blend it our mixture make sure it is smoothly blend because we are not going to strain it we want to keep all the so here my water is boiling vigorously okay and then i'll add my mixture so make sure you stir your mixture very well so that so then i turn the heat off and then i'll add some hot water i have hot water and i'll add it yes traditionally uh they say they don't cook um awuza cocoa on 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 the heat on the stove they cook it off the stove but mm, not today honey so just look at that silky texture the cocoa is ready Yes, about 7 to 10 minutes, my spice millet 
porridge is ready look at the color it's popping just like the one that you get from your cocoa joint yeah recently i went to hajia memuna joint for my cocoa yeah you can add some um granite to it and some milk to huh it was so delicious and for those of you who doesn't know what is awuza coco awuza coco is a popular street food in ghana which can be served as breakfast sometimes you can even eat it as dinner and i like it for dinner and it's so soothing and satisfying oh look at that oh my god you guys this is a game changer you don't have to wait hours upon hours for your awuza coco yes make a wuza cuckoo at any time that you want this idea came about when i was craving for a wuza cuckoo instant a wuza cuckoo and i searched on youtube and there was none and you can pair it with tobe or profit or donut and this tobe i made it with millet mm, millet plus millet it was delicious and tasty just like a traditional way normally one has to soak millet for days before you can use it for your wooza cocoa but in this video no honey so my wonderfuls i hope you like it i hope you are inspired to try it for the i use it to boil the water